Hey y'all, it's Kayla from 7th Row, and we sell every stuff. So we are doing a little video this morning on, it's Monday, here in Texas, and yes, it snowed yesterday. So we have a video coming out later on in the week of us playing in the snow and some of the finds that, that we found over the weekend for our haul. So um, be watching out for that. But anyway, we really quick wanted to go through the sales we had. We actually broke our record. I believe we had 24 sales over the weekend, which for us... As fair, fairly newbies, that's pretty good for us. So we're pretty excited about it. So real quick, wanted to go through, you know, some of the things that we sold. First off, we had our white diamonds. This is a perfumed body lotion. And I want to thank Ruth, even though she's not watching, but I do want to thank everybody for, you know, their support for our business. And Elizabeth Arden, she was all in shipping and everything for $13.41. This will ship first class. And we were in it for about $2.50 at a garage sale. We found four brand new in the box white diamonds items and we paid $10 for all of them. So it's not a huge profit, but you know, it's bread and butter and we all need bread and butter. So next thing is these anywhere slip resistant shoes. They're floral print. They're really cute. They're in great condition. I don't actually think they've ever been worn. And I want to thank Barbara for that and um, our shoes that Barbara was all in at $24.59 now when I say all in that means with their shipping price we have some things that are free shipping and some things that are not free shipping so right now I'm giving you all in prices that may change in our future videos but we'll get we'll get there when we get there these are under a pound these will ship in possibly a poly bag may go ahead and and up them into something else not sure yet but when I get to my shipping process, I'll get there. But they'll ship. They won't ship too much. Like I said, she's all in at $24.59. We bought those at a garage sale for a dollar. Next thing is this Fenton. It is a hobnail. I'm not a glass person. Believe me. That was my mom. It is like a Fenton hobnail um, milk glass. It's a top hat. Some people call it a toothpick holder. I just think they're really cool. I've got a cobalt blue one at home and a green one. But I don't collect this, so... This was actually um, at my house already in a box. So I didn't pay anything for this. Um, my mom used to have a resale store. If y'all seen her introduction, you know that. This was some of the stuff that was left over that she had from her resale store. Um, she's been, been gone now for about a year and our family's gone through everything. Not that she needed to know all the personal. But anyway, so I thought it was time to just, she would be like Gayla Salad. Make that money, girl. So anyway, this... I would like to thank Heidi for buying this. She's all in at $10.39. It will ship first class. It was free to us. Not a big sale, but it's going to go to a good home, somebody that would appreciate it. So, really happy about that. Here we have another hobnail milk glass. Just like a little candy dish. Thomas bought this. Thank you, Thomas. And he is all in at $30.74 for this piece. Um, shipping... It's under two pounds, so shipping shouldn't be that bad. Um, but I'd like to thank Thomas for getting that. That also was in my mom's stuff from her store that she used to have. Next, I have got this Darth Vader pot vinyl from Rogue One. Number 143. It is new in the box. Um, I would say the box is in good condition, not pristine, of course. Got a little, little dent there. You know, collectors would appreciate it, but avid collectors would definitely have to really watch when you're buying this stuff. Because any little anything, if you're new to this, if you're not new to this, you probably already know. But any little anything on the box, you, you disclose any of that. Because the real collector, especially when you get into ones which is not like this, but are high priced ones, you know, and this goes with any of your action figures or anything like that. Collectors want mint. Let them know. Be very descriptive because you don't want returns. You don't want bad, negative feedback. So this one did have a few little, you know, nicks and notches. It's not worth a whole lot. Anthony bought this and we appreciate that, Anthony. He's in total $17.34. And this will ship first class to Anthony in an 8 by 6 by 4 box. Definitely ship them in boxes so they don't get crushed. You don't want those collectibles to get crushed, especially if they're new in package. Because that is very important to the collector. Okay, next thing we have here. This is some Lisa Frank 
Um, I don't actually think it's vintage, but it is Lisa Frank, and it's really cool because it is just a horse. I thought it was a unicorn at first, but it's not. But anyway, so they got two sets of plates, some big napkins, and some little napkins for a party or for just fun, whatever they want to do. And Ashley bought those, and we want to thank Ashley. Um, she is all in at $19.64. This will ship first class in a poly bag. Um, and we probably have about a dollar into this from a garage sale. We spent $5, got a bunch of napkins, a bunch of plates, split them up into different, um, different little groups, and we've sold quite a few of them so far. So we might have a dollar into it, even after shipping them first class. We're looking at maybe 13 bucks in our pocket, you know, maybe 12, something like that. So that, that wasn't a bad deal. You can find really good deals. Always look for new stuff at garage sales or anywhere you go. Um, this is the Care Bears movie vinyl. This, I've got pennies into. I bought, and that'll be a future video too, probably over 200 vinyls for $50. Um, some of them are worth more than others. This one really caught my attention. Almost put it in my grandson's collection, but... You know, we're running a business now, so then grandkids, they're going to have to do without this. But Michelle bought this, and we'd like to thank Michelle. It is um, the Care Bear movie. Vinyl. I'm trying to think if this is even vintage. It 1985, so yes, it is. It's vintage. And it, um, she is all in for $17.95. And like I said, we have pennies into that. And I believe that this doesn't have any advertisement, so it should ship media mail. So, um... We'll be back. We're going to clear these out, get these packed, ready to ship, and um, we'll be back with some more. Okay. All right. Real quick, we want to go over a few more things. Um, first off, I'd like to thank Carol. She bought this Rudolph Build-A-Bear. Um, when I got Rudolph, I realized that his nose didn't light up anymore. Put that in the disclaimer. Told her that. She's all in for $16.40 on Rudolph. I spent like a dollar on him. Um, he should. He might ship first class if not... I will bend him up or any of these other plush up and put them in a priority flat rate, padded flat rate for seven something, whatever they ship out for. So, you know, still pretty decent profit on a dollar. Um, got another Care Bear Build a Bear. They're all in for $18.13. And um, couldn't honestly tell you, I've had him for a while, um, plush are a long tail, so. It's very good sourcing for the newbie because you can get them at great prices, but they are a long tail. Have had this one for a while. So, and I will tell you, normally I don't pay more than a dollar for my Build-A-Bears. And that's about the most I'll pay for a plush unless they're just something spectacular. So I've either got 25 cent, anywhere from 25 cents to a dollar into this one. Um, like I said, they are um, all in at 18 13 I'd like to thank Alice for this purchase. And, um... Same thing, if it won't, won't go into poly for first class, then I will get this in the flat rate bubble mailer. All right, real quick, I've got a cute little tie. Beanie Boo, little bitty, teeny tiny thing. Still has his tags. Ben bought this. He is all in at $14.08. I didn't pay any more than 25 cents for this guy, if I paid that much for him. So he will ship very, very, very low first class. All right, so now I got Moxie from the Ugly Dolls. Um, this one, this one's not a good sale. Eight dollars all in. We'll ship first class, but still, don't have more than a quarter in her. Made a couple bucks. But Lisa bought that, and I appreciate it. Um, next thing we've got here, and I'm not going to open this all the way up, but it is a really cool floral Tommy Bahama. Got a really cool pattern on it. It is a medium which I know the uh, bigger sizes do sell for more money. They are all in at $21.49 for this. This will ship first class. Just slide it right into a poly and ship it on its way. And Larry bought that, and I'd like to thank Larry. I know all these people aren't watching my channel yet. Give them time. But I do want to thank everybody who, who makes a purchase with us because we appreciate it. So, on to the next list of stuff. All right, I wanted to do this one separate because out of our eight total subscribers so far we have a viewer sale and this really cool we ought to be opening a bottle of wine mug 
It is new in the box. The box is not pretty, but she's not going to need the box, believe me. Um, is going out to Liz at Flipping Lizards, and she is flipping things, and I love her channel. I will link her channel and her store in the description below. She is really cool. So excited when I got this sale, and she sent me a message saying that she bought from me because I had been watching her channel. She's fairly new also, so we're all kind of learning together. So, Liz, thank you so much. Keep flipping things, sister, and your mug is on its way to you in New York. All right, y'all, my turn. On to the guy stuff. First thing, cake decorator. Um, I bought this at a garage sale during, during garage sale season for four or five dollars. Cleaned it, sanitized it, made sure it worked. I'm um, going to thank Byron for getting this and help supporting us. And Byron's all in at $52.25. That includes shipping and everything. And once again, thank you, Byron, if you're watching. Uh, I'd like to thank Horace. Bought some outdoor angler fishing fishing sea shears scissors. Shears. Scissors. <laughs> scissors. We bought. We actually got this at a retail arbitrage. They were doing a clearance. Bought quite a few of them for a dollar twenty-five each. And Horace is all in on these, including shipping for fourteen eighty-four. Uh, Gayla does more of the shipping weight so she knows that it's going to go first class. I just buy stuff and pack it. Okay, on to the next. More guy stuff. Uh, this is a Astro Command Vintage Radio Shack. Uh, I guess you would call it a, the desktop game. Um, uh, Justin picked this up for uh, 48 48 That includes shipping. Uh, we bought this at a garage sale. Probably got a bunch of other handheld games. Probably maybe got two bucks into it. And we tested it, cleaned it, works great. Played with it, got rid of it. Okay, on to this. I know Gail had touched on it earlier about, you know, garage sale stuff and finding different places to find things. This was actually personally mine. It sat around for quite a while. Um, it's a Huddy professional all-in-one setup station for RC cars. Um, big in RC cars myself. Uh, and what this does is just lets you tune and tweak. Um, you know, RC cars, not like Radio Shack or this. This is more the hobby grade that you buy at, uh, shout out, Hobby Town. Uh, and, you know, this is... Like I said, I picked it up in a, probably a trade, and so I've got maybe maybe 50, 100 bucks into it worth of the trade stuff, but it helps set up and angle all your tires and droop and more nerdy RC stuff that, you know, unless you're in RC, you don't know. And I would like to thank Karen. She picked this up um, for, in total, with shipping, $241. So... If y'all are sourcing and see what's called hobby grade RC, pick it up. It goes, it sells fast. I had this online for maybe five, six hours and it's gone for a uh, pretty, pretty incredible profit. So once again, thank you, Karen from 7th Row. And on that note, I'd like to say that further down the road, we are going to have Richard do us a little RC breakdown of, you know, selling RC stuff, breaking it down, all of that. So if you're into that, just subscribe, hit that notification button, like this video, and keep an eye out for us because Richard will be doing, he'll stop doing that, and then he will be doing a video on RC because he is all-knowing about the RC stuff. He's, he took my she shed, you guys. For his RC stuff. Yeah, he took my she shit. So anyway, she on to, on, on, forward. Okay, this is something we picked up uh, fri uh, Friday, Friday uh, garage sailing. Uh, um, it's the HP Ultra Slim Dock. Um, this was picked up by Alexander. Thank you, Alexander. Because uh, <laughs> we know you're watching. <laughs> uh, we got maybe 
two bucks into this. We got it in a bundle of computer and electronics stuff from this garage sale. Uh, it's brand new, not a scratch, nowhere on it. Uh, like I said, Alexander picked this up for $63 and 25 cents, including the shipping. So, uh, thank you again, Alexander. And we're going to stop, pack, reload the table, and be back with you. All right, guys. Last stuff that we're going to be talking about today. Vintage G.I. Joe's. Definitely a bolo. Um, complete best, but they still sell great without having all the pieces. These are ones from when I was a young warthog. I don't know, that, <laughs> I don't know what that's going to be like copyrighted, but it's all of them. Anyway. Can't. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, uh, <laughs> one guy. Uh, this here is near complete. He's got, I'm not taking him out the package because, you know, it's awesome the way it is. He's nearly complete. He's missing a gun, his, his original gun. Uh, sneak peek. Um, he was purchased by Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. And uh, he went for $21.89, including shipping. He weighs nothing. And weighs, he weighs nothing. He's going to go, he's going to go in a box just because you want the protection of you know, some kind of box you don't want. I, don't, I personally don't like poly bagging stuff like this or putting it in a, in a plastic wrapper. It's been, you know, cleaned, checked. So, you know, he's he's COVID free. Uh, next thing uh, was purchased by Yen. Thank you, Yen. Um, Croc Master. Uh, he is missing um, his breathing tube. But everything else is complete. Joints are good. That's something you want to check. The joints, uh, there's a rubber band. If you, if you don't know about G.I. Joe, if you do, you already know. There's a rubber band in between them. I've actually got 100 rubber bands on the way because I've got probably 50 of them that the rubber band is broke. So I'll make a video on, you know, how to how to fix that. But probably dry rotted since you were a young... Warthog. Yeah. So, I mean, but, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, you, you do do some research uh, make sure <laughs> child you want to make sure like the hoop on his uh, wristband is not cracked or anything so you just want it that's stuff you want to look for okay. but and even if it is you can still, yeah, you sell, can still it. sell it you can but your prices are going to be better yeah like I said we got twenty dollars and sixty nine cents for croc master again thank you again um, this is another incomplete because you know and it went this is uh because he didn't Psycho. clean his room and his mom threw a bunch of his toys away when he she was young. Did. I know. It hurts I've now. heard about it for 20 years. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Psych Out. He's missing some um, bracelets and I think uh, his little pistol. Um, Michael bought this. Thank you, Michael. And uh, he went, he was all in at $13.40. Um, Muskrat Swamp Fighter. Uh, he was, you know, he is missing he's got a long rifle and a pistol both missing um do have his ski uh, wakeboard uh, joints are tight rivets if you look no i don't know the rivets don't have rust on them nothing's all wiggly and loose but we'll look over that in a video later on down the road on what to look for uh, i don't know I'm back. Uh, Je uh, like i said jeffrey bought this thank you jeffrey and he's all in at eleven dollars and eighty cents and last sale of the weekend this was these two were purchased by a guy figure only no weapons no backpacks no nothing um guy purchased both of these for, which one's which this one is low light he's a spotter so he actually has a, he should come with a, a sniper rifle uh guy picked this one up for ten dollars and 89 cents and crankcase um, still all vintage, uh, $13 and 28 cents. Um, missing, he's got a backpack and like a tool backpack and a gun. Again, uh, these can be bread and butter or bolos, however you want to look at it. Um, I think, can I say something real quick? I think a lot of times if you find these at a garage, let me know I can't interrupt mm -hmm. you. <laughs> So at a garage sale or even an estate sale, there's going to be a bunch of them. 
That's why they're going to be bolos. Yeah, each individual one, you're going to make more money on each parting them out each individual one than yeah. you are selling them in a lot. And even a lot of, you know, you find the vehicles. There are a lot of YouTuber, YouTubers and eBay sellers that buy a vehicle and then tear it apart. And they're looking to... Lot list list each individual piece because there's another person out there who that toy was something of their childhood but there's a door missing off of it instead of buying the or yeah, or, or, or whatever's gonna, missing from this guy they're gonna go and they're gonna look for that specific piece and they're gonna they're gonna pay up for it but it beats buying the entire vehicle so even if you're outsourcing and find half of a even a GI Joe, I've seen them where they're just their heads kind of creepy, and you know, pieces of body parts that people are selling because somebody finds a torso and a head but no legs, they can go on eBay and of course find it. Um, so you know, don't pass these up. Vintage toys, crazy good. Uh, Transformers, GI Joes, boy stuff, girls don't rule. Tangent, tangent, right. tangent. No, I'm just kidding. Well, edit it out. But, but there you go. That's what that's what sold for us this weekend. And thank you if you watched the entire video of us. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And thank you to my brothers and my sister for watching our videos. <laughs> thank y'all. Have a great day.